This video answers the question, what is the definition of risk, particularly in the context of engineered systems and operations. But I warn you, this is a, this is a little bit contentious of a topic sometimes. Uh, for example, in the first meeting of the Society for Risk Analysis, engineers, lawyers, political scientists, uh, toxicologists, nuclear scientists all came together to try to uh, come up with a common definition of risk. And in one of their early newsletter publications, they basically agreed to disagree, publishing 13 definitions of risk. But they all had some common themes. So here are two definitions that are widely quoted or cited in the literature uh, that can give us some insights into what these common themes are in the definition of risk. The first by Phil Lawrence in his 1976 book of Acceptable Risk. It's focused on uh, health safety and toxicology, but it is widely used as the as foundations for modern risk analysis in many cases. And a more modern book, Doug Hubbard's book, 2009, uh, Failure of Risk Management and How to Fix It. So I'll read these definitions. Risk is a measure of the probability and severity of adverse consequences. And risk is a state of uncertainty where outcomes have an undesired effect or significant loss. There are at least three themes. The first is that risk is a measure. It means that we can differentiate between high and low risk. It means that somehow there's a quantitative uh, scale or some kind of a qualitative rubric that helps us to discriminate between what is bad risk and what is uh, good risk, um, if there's such a thing. So, it, But it's a measure of two things, and this is the second theme. Both probability and severity, both uncertainty, as well as some scale of the outcome. So uh, this, this, this will lead us to the need to use uh, techniques in multiple objectives or in multi-criteria um, analysis in uh, the use of multiple metrics. And I think we'll find that um, expected value isn't by itself um, a useful metric all the time for making decisions that are, are made in the context of uncertainty. We have to somehow account for both probability likelihood uncertainty, as well as the severity of consequences or the scale of the outcome. The third theme is that it focuses on adverse consequences or undesired effects, significant losses. We don't have a risk of a fortunate event, we have a risk of an unfortunate event. And this is, the, this is a theme throughout the risk literature. It's a measure of adverse events, adverse consequences, unfortunate um, events, significant losses. But we're measuring both the scale of the loss as well as the probability that that loss will happen at that scale. There is a fourth theme that's kind of implied, and it is that risk pays attention to the future. So it's a measure of the probability and severity of adverse future consequences. So something's already happened. It's just an issue. It's a known problem. There's not much uncertainty. There might be some uncertainty in what led, what, what are the causal uh, factors that led to this event. But when we talk about risk, we're focused on analysis of the future. So these are the four themes. It's a measure. It's a measure of both probability and severity. And it's a measure of the adverse consequences. Uh, and fourth, it's a measure of those adverse consequences as they might happen in the future.